I needed that. <laughs> How short your lifespan is. Hmm? And the more air you get, the quicker you fade. And I'm slowly sucking you away. Slowly taking your life away, just, just like she did. Huh. I loved her so much. More than I should have done. In my game, I see so many relationships, so many things go wrong. <laughs> Private detective. That's what they call me. But I never thought I'd have to investigate on myself. I never, I never thought I would see the same things that I see happened to other people, happened to me. But I guess it's inevitable. Shit happens, that's what they say, isn't it? Here's the shit. Sometimes I think it'd be easier if I was you. So short your life. <laughs> Whereas I have to live with this pain for the rest of mine until I forget about it. However quick that happens. I love this woman so much. She was my existence. But she just couldn't be the same forever. I think that's the thing with love. We all think that it's gonna last and it's never gonna change and it's never gonna finish. But it does and when it does, there's nothing you can do. You can't do anything to stop it. Nothing at all. I wish I could turn back the hands of time and correct the mistakes I may have made, she may have made, but... Huh, still it would have ended, it would have never would have lasted. Like life itself. We all think we're never going to die, we all think we're going to live forever. And we're going to be able to do everything. And we never think about it until we get ill, until we face that moment when we're about to die. That's when realization kicks in. Before we just think, we don't even think of death. We think of life immortal as if... Same with love. I, I thought this woman would be there for me forever. I don't even know what I did that was wrong. I thought I'd always been there for her. Always giving her the time, always giving the affection, always giving the gifts. Not like other men who just only remember they're married when it's their anniversary, all the other times they're out drinking, texting other women, sleeping with women behind their men's back. That's what I watch. How many men have I seen do that? They pretend to their wives, they kiss their wives goodbye at the door and say how they love them. I love you, my darling. I'll see you later. <laughs> They're not even going to work. They get in their car, they drive away. They drive down a few roads that are similar to the way they go to work just in case the wife is following. And then when they look in their rear mirror and they see she's not there, then they go their way that they want to go to some woman's house who they visit every Wednesday. 
And this woman may or may not even know that he's married. Oh, how many times I've had to bug phones and hear these conversations. <laughs> how many? How many conversations have I heard? <laughs> these men. They sound so sincere when they're talking to their wife, when they're talking to their lover. And yet I wasn't like that. I was the man. <laughs> I was the man who was the guardian of love. I was the man checking out all these lovers and finding out what was going on and correcting these problems. But she wanted a side with another. She could never always be with me. <sighs> well, these things happen, I guess. I'm probably not really explaining myself too well. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I want to keep this to myself rather than explain. That's what I have to do to my clients. I have to sit there across the room from them. And tell them, I'm afraid it's true what you thought. Your husband's having an affair. He has for six months. The woman doesn't even know you exist, doesn't even know you're married, doesn't even know you're going to be married, doesn't even know you're pregnant. <laughs> he talks to her just like you do. He tells her the same lines that he tells you. He kisses her goodnight just like he kisses you. He makes love to her just like he makes love to you. And I watch in their eyes. I watch them fade away as if they're no longer alive. They die right in front of me as I'm explaining their life away, as I'm telling them the one thing that they always loved, the one thing they thought would always be there is no longer. We're screwing around with some woman who may not even be younger, may not even be prettier, just because these men can. them walk out and look out of the window because they try to contain themselves in front of me as if they've already known as if it hasn't really affected them and then I watch them break down I watch the tears flow every single time the tears flow it doesn't matter if it's a woman or a man who's my client women betray men just as much as men betray women love is not sacred anymore <laughs> 